The shrine of Tapinu in Gozo is incredibly special to the people of Malta. It is here they believe Mary appeared to a woman in 1883. And outside the basilica, there are stunning mosaics lining the walls, detailing in such beauty the 20 mysteries of the rosary. And just down the road, in a small converted workshop, you'll find the priest who made them. So many colors, so many textures. You find all these colors which you don't think exist in, in, in the rock, but they do. It is the beauty of creation. In this room, we have a piece from every corner of the earth. This is Father Roberto Gacci, a priest who has a passion for his faith and his craft of stonemasonry. This stone has been forming in the core of the earth maybe for millions of years. It has been closed for so many centuries and now we can reveal its beauty. For Father Roberto, he sees art as not just something of beauty and to be admired, but something that can bring people closer to God. People come in contact with faith in two ways. By listening to the preaching of the Word of God, and secondly, by contemplating the holy icons. It's the same Word of God. One enters through the ear, the other enters through the eye. While others may be tempted to put their own artistic spin or interpretation on biblical figures and scenes, Father Roberto says it's not about him, it's about the church and the faith. Making Christian art is a conversion. You must die to yourself, you must die to your natural instincts, your way of expressing yourself, but not to become zero, but to become something new. To take upon yourself a universal, a Catholic expression, which is the expression of the faith of the church. The process of making these mosaics is painstaking and can take months to complete even a small mosaic. But Father Roberto always starts with the eyes. We begin always with the eyes because we look in the eyes and we, we, we enter in a prayerful dialogue with the saints, with the Mother of God, with Jesus. And it's those same eyes that give Father Roberto strength and help him carry on. The work is hard. The, sometimes the days are long. There are problems. But when you look in these eyes, these eyes give you hope. These eyes tell you, go on, I'm with you. And this is beautiful because we are never alone. There are, some, there are always a pair of eyes looking at us. In Gozo, Malta, Colum Flynn, EWTN News In Depth.